Hey guys, Preacher357 here. I thought uh, in light of uh, what had just happened this week uh, with Queen Elizabeth, uh, the monarch of, uh, of England, Great Britain, uh, the UK, however you want to say it. I know there's some differences there between the, the different terminologies, but uh, being a, an American, I don't Right off the top of my head, know the difference between them. I know there's a little bit of difference between the, the different terms. And uh, England, obviously, is just the one country. And uh, Great Britain is another group. And then the UK is another group. And there's slight differences between the UK and Great Britain. I don't know what they are. Google it. I, I, I really don't know. I've looked it up before and I can't remember now. So anyway, uh, you know, Queen Elizabeth uh, passed away this week. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of... Uh, fanfare, a lot of uh, media coverage about that, a lot of people singing her praises, and uh, apparently some gun companies and gun rights groups got in on the, the act and uh, posted some things and, and what have you uh, about, about Queen Elizabeth, and uh, some people have taken offense to that, and I just thought I would uh, kind of give my two cents for what little to no value that is uh, with regard to this because I, I kind of see it two different ways here. Number one, I'm not a fan of monarchies. Uh, obviously, the idea of a royalty or that there's an aristocracy or a, a nobility uh, based on uh, simply, you know, your bloodlines or whatever is, is absolutely contrary to everything this country was founded on. Uh, the idea that we're all created equal with uh, the same, you know, rights that we're born with, you know, that, you know, we're all children of God and, uh, you know, there is no difference in, in that sense. And there are our worth here on this planet, other than the fact that we were created in the image of God, obviously, which is where our ultimate value comes from. But our worth here on this planet is uh, a, a product of what we do with our lives. And uh, no matter where you come from, you know, you can be a person of virtue. And no matter where you come from, you can be a despicable person too. So the idea that, you know, certain people are more fit to rule simply because they were born to a certain family is uh, ridiculous to me. Uh, you know, we, we obviously in the United States shouldn't believe that because that's not what this country was founded on. That's not the idea of of individualism, you know, that we, that we believe here in this country, that this country was founded on. Um, so I have a real problem with, with monarchies in that sense. And, you know, Queen Elizabeth as the Queen of England was symbolic of that mindset, even though now that position is really more symbolic. It's more of a figurehead type position. Still, it's a representation of that mindset that somehow or another she is or was more uh, worthy in some sense because she was noble, because she was, you know, royal. And, uh, you know, I, I don't believe that. And so uh, as an American, as someone who believes strongly in the Constitution, as a, uh, I just, uh, I can't go along with that, with that mindset. And so I, I oppose monarchies in that sense. Um, and I don't know much about Queen Elizabeth. There's rumors, you know, there's rumors that she had something to do with, with Princess Diana's death. There's, you know, obviously the allegations that have been made by Meghan Markle about racism and what have you. I don't know if those are true or not. Now, obviously, if you're someone who believes that certain people are, are better because of their bloodlines, then wouldn't that be hard to uh, imagine such a person also being racist in that sense? Because, you know, here you have... Uh, her grandson that had married someone who was not only not of uh, English nobility, but not even English and not even ethnically the same or racially the same. So, you know, it wouldn't be hard for me to, to believe that to be the case, that she would have a problem with that. But I don't know. I mean, all these are allegations, obviously. And there are people out there who claim that she was the, the nicest, sweetest lady that ever lived. And I don't know. I mean, I, I really don't. So... You know, with all of that said, should these gun rights companies have, you know, posted these things praising the queen or in, in tribute to the queen or, or you know, whatever? Um, maybe not. 
uh, you know, it might have been better just to have a respectful silence. Um, now, on the other hand, you know, despite the fact that we won our um, independence from Great Britain, from England, uh, and we fought one more war with them in 1812, since that time, they have been our biggest ally. Uh, they are very closely aligned with us. You know, we share a very common history for the most part. Now, not everyone, obviously, because America is very much multicultural. Uh, you know, we were never established to be simply one culture. Uh, you know, we have freedom of religion. We have, you know, freedom, we're a melting pot. You know, we, we come from all over. There, there are people from all over Europe that have settled in the U.S and all over the world. And so, um, but with that said, there's still a very large percentage of the population that shares a lot of common things with, with Great Britain. And culturally, there's a lot of commonality there. We share a language. Um, and so because of that close um, relationship that we have with, with England, with Great Britain, with the UK, you know, I can see where it would be polite of us, you know, to uh, say things that were nice about her for the sake of our allies in, in the UK. Uh, the people there loved her. Uh, she, you know, the, 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 the people in England, from what I understand, are devastated by this. Uh, at least that's what the news seems to say, so I assume it's correct. I don't always believe the news, but you know, and I think as being people who are strongly allied with them and, and have that relationship with, with those, and I've got family and friends that, are, that live over there. Um, so, you know, I can see how, you know, it would be a polite thing to do to, to uh, you know, be supportive of them in this situation. Um, but like I said, I, I really think a respectful silence might have been better from uh, those organizations and those groups that really believe strongly in the Constitution, uh, since you know monarchies in and of themselves are antithetical to everything we believe. So, but either way, I, I think um, most of these groups that that posted these things did so innocently. I don't think there was a lot of thought that went into it as to uh, you know how that was going to be viewed, you know, by a, a lot of. Uh, constitutionally minded people in this country. And I, I, I know there's been a lot of disappointment in some of these companies and groups that they, that they did that. Uh, but uh, I would just say, don't judge too harshly about something like that. Uh, let's, let's judge these companies and these gun rights organizations and civil rights organizations based on what they do here in America, not about what they say about things in other countries, because ultimately she was not our queen. And, uh, you know, it has no bearing on us whatsoever. We were a separate country. And let's focus on uh, what's going on here in this country uh, and not worry so much about, uh, you know, things like that from another country that have no bearing on us. So that's just kind of the way I think about it. I mean, you probably disagree with me, and that's fine. Um, you know, I'm so sure some of you are quite upset about it, and some of you probably couldn't care less. And... You know, I'm somewhere in between. I, I see the the uh, contradiction there is uh, for certain groups to to praise a monarch, but at the same time, I can see where we would want to be polite to to those who are our close allies. So that's the way I see it. I appreciate you, you guys uh, tuning in and listening to me ramble here. So uh, hopefully, I have something up for you real soon with some actual guns and uh y'all take care of yourselves be careful we'll see you next time